Hey everyone, TTT here. This time we'll be going through the Dust Storm Marshes. We'll be meeting K and Jiro. You are gonna wear your system want, and we've got treasure chests now. Tint Buckler. Let's see what we can do with that. Uh, a shield. Bit better, bit better than the potlets. Ah, there's one encounter. A G and a Ko. I can see how this would become quite overwhelming in turn. Let's hit. Let's use all to hit the G for. This one should be stronger, so they should take more damage. Okay, managed to kill that one. Actually, I'll be using the mouse. I disabled the mouse castle's temper wheel, so it shouldn't be too bothersome. And it will be way faster to choose the new stuff. I click it here. No, just on there. Oof, that's quite a bit of damage. In combat is a bit slow. Less learned, reflect learned. Let's take a look into the options and see if we can. Uh, we can certainly put on the always dash, but there's no configuration for putting uh, making the combat faster, which is a bit unfortunate. Got it. Go. Uh, That does no damage because it's the wrong one. Uh, ooh. Yeah, it could really use a faster combat. Let's get this treasure chest and then move on up. Right in front of it, and it's the same once again. Sweet attack should be enough, probably. Oh, Misek is gonna need some healing. them to go. Oh, I was able to those wait, what's that? Combat encounter in the chest basically. It opens it right after going out from it. Uh okay, let's heal. That was not who I meant to heal. Uh, Claire's also in plus. Right, next time we'll have to use the Ramune. Ko and Ku. Uh, what's that? And the last one to go. Oh. oh. 
only took two hits to take one of them out. Honestly, I think this would probably be better without an entire party, just like having one character and that would be more than enough. Oh no, it looks like the bridge is out. No sweat. I bet with some solid logs I could build a bridge to help us cross. Really? Well, if you know how, I'll give you a hand. It's alright then, let's hunt around for some strong logs. Three good logs should be enough. But where to look? Hmm, I wonder where. Actually, how to get up there? G and Co. Why did I use all of them on the gay? Like, if there was only one character, it would save so much time in combat. But when you have four, you have to press things over and over again, basically. And it's not really like the characters have much diversity in their skill sets either, since they all do the same thing, pretty much. At least right now. Oh, some healing, that's nice. K and K. enough to kill it. That one. Uh, let's do that. And those two can be guard. Since so I can't bother. Some level ups. That's nice. This is a good luck, let's take it with us. Right, got the locks, now we better go back to the bridge. Okay, okay. Since they leveled up, it should be more than enough damage for two of them. to start healing. Let's see. Items. We store some HP. I would prefer a specific number. Enough to max out the health at least. Not just one this time. I go. Two should be enough. At least if it has the same strength as the other ones. Yep. A key. Looks like we have enough blocks to build a bridge. Let's work together. 
Phew, done. Wait, thank you. Onward. You can sense a strong phone nearby. So there are bosses, alright. Crossing. What is this place? This never used to be here. I wonder, could this be where the Hiragana railways are being summoned from? It must be, right? What else could it be here for? Maybe that Japanese magician guy just likes strange lawn art. Where's the lawn? That's just sand, mostly. And some individual plants. And I sense something powerful nearby. Maybe we should come back some other time. Uh oh, no time for that. Watch out. Number one piece. <laughs> How sweet. You've come for another round of punishment? Noburo. Misaki, what do we do? This guy kicked my butt last time I fought him. Just stay calm. Together we can do this. I'm ready to take him down. You can count on me. <laughs> How courageous. Let's see what you've got. Noburo summoned allies. Come on, come. Everyone, listen care very carefully. Do not attack Noburo, only attack the Hiragana warriors. We are not yet strong enough to defeat Noburo, but if we defeat enough of the summons, we can deplete his energy and live to see another day. Now, do your best. Can't I go back to the punches for this guy? That should work on him, right? I didn't actually test it out last time since I only got one hit in, but... Uh, probably didn't work for him either. Uh, immediately summons up something new once one of them dies. So let's go with ooh, the upper two. And the other one do the A. Another well? Nope, apparently not. Ah, there's one. Alright then, go. Oh, that was the wrong guy. Probably we do that, but there's really no need, since I have more than enough to kill it. Gah. No, we fled the battle. Whew, he's gone, at least for now. That was exhausting. At least we were able to deal with the Uragana warriors, right? We've definitely learned a lot so far. We'll get him next time. We should head back to town and west for the day. Tomorrow we'll start learning the next set of Hiragana. Come talk to me in town when you're ready. Save. Uh, it's only been 13 minutes so far. We can keep going for a bit longer. Any new? Mm, nope. No new dialogues. So let's... Actually, let's buy some more Bambune. The West is not really that important currently. Since we don't have that much money anyway. We can buy that stuff later. We're not really in need of it currently. At least I don't think so. Continue with new lessons. A special. I have something special prepared for today's lesson. Before we study more Hiragane, we're going to learn some Japanese vocabulary. Ooh, interesting. Let's learn some Japanese vocabulary. Vocab lesson 1. To give you a break from learning hiragana every lesson, we'll mix it up and learn vocabulary every now and then. We'll cover 10 new words each lesson. As we go, we will demonstrate how to read and pronounce each word. We'll see how to write each word in hiragana based on the hiragana we know so far. I'll show you our first word and demonstrate how these vocabulary lessons work. Hmm? 
Let's break down the text above. The first line in blue is how, we, how to write the Japanese word on Romashi. Romashi is a system designed to transcribe Japanese sounds using the English alphabet. Mm. That, no, <laughs> that's not exactly accurate. Romaji is literally just Roman scripture, so it's not English alphabet either, it's the Roman alphabet, as far as I'm aware, since that's where it's originated from. Anyway, let's continue. Romaji is very common and there's a good chance you've come across it before. Words that are borrowed from Japanese use Romaji. Think of words like tsunami, karaoke, sensei, etc. Romaji is super simple and easy to read. As you learn more hiragana and gain an understanding of the syllables used in Japanese, you'll be able to write words in Romaji as well as hiragana. For the vocabulary we are learning, you can use the Romaji reading until we learn all of the relevant hiragana, which brings me to the next line written in black. This is the hiragana reading of the word. As lessons get more advanced as you, and you learn more hiragana, these words will become entirely written in hiragana. When there are syllables used that we haven't learned yet, I'll just display the Romaji. So in our example above, you'll see it as ha i. We haven't learned the Uragana for ha yet, but we've learned i. The dashes in between are just to symbolize the gap between each syllable. You don't need to actually write these in Uragana or Romaji. And finally, our third line in orange is the English translation of the word. So the example above teaches us what the Japanese word hi means yes. Uh, that's the Japanese word hi means yes in English. Awesome. Next I'll discuss how to pronounce it properly. This word sounds like hi or hi. However, remember how e sounds like e. Uh, the word hi is actually pronounced ha i. But since Japanese is a language spoken at a rapid pace, the syllables tend to merge. A general rule of thumb when speaking Japanese is that the sounds of syllables do not change regardless of what syllable they follow or proceed. We all know that English words can change pronunciation in strange ways and may not even be pronounced as they are written. However, in Japanese every syllable has a specific pronunciation, pronunciation and it's the same in every word it appears in. There are a couple of little exceptions but nothing to be concerned about with, this, with at this stage. Once you get to kanji, however, pronunciation sometimes becomes really messed up. But more to that later. Nope, don't want to hear that again. Second word. Yeah, no. It's an interesting word because it's made up of only vowels. When dealing with repeated words such as e, you draw out the length of the sound, it's not quite the same as repeating the vowel twice. Listen carefully to the example pronunciation. Let's look at our next word. Watashi, I. Watashi is a Japanese word for I. Used when referring to yourself, it's not a substitute for the letter I. There's also several different words for I, and this, this is the most basic one taught. It's not Always appropriate, so remember that. You'll use watashi often in conversation when talking about yourself. It's a formal and polite word. There are more casual words used to refer to yourself in Japanese, but they are safe for chatting with your friends and family. Word for Anata is the Japanese word for you, used when referring to the person you are talking to. And just like watashi, there is a lot of other words for that as well. You can use this word in conversation when talking about your conversation partner. However, it can be considered rude to use it in the wrong context. Most of the time you refer to people by the name, even when talking directly to them. It sounds weird in English, but it's normal in Japanese. Word 5. The rest of the words on the list are for objects used when stuttering. Look around now, hopefully you have most of these things handy. Pen. Pen is a Japanese word for pen. Who knew? This is a word that has been borrowed from English. It's an easy word and it's even pronounced the same. 
When you write words borrowed from other languages in Japanese, you wouldn't normally use hiragana. Instead, you'd use a set of characters called katakana, which are specifically for foreign words. However, since this software is about learning hiragana, we will write broad words like pen in hiragana and romaji. But why do you even cover this word in this game then? And pizu is Japanese for pencil. It's a bit of a mouthful, so listen to the pronunciation a few times and practice saying it slowly. Would you like to listen to the pronunciation again? Ready for words, seven? Also, I'm gonna have to adjust the volumes for uh, the voices and the background music. Hopefully, there's actually a different setting for each. So, okay, desk. Word 8. Isu, chair. Home, book. Word 10. Noto, Japanese for notebook. And that's the end of our first vocabulary lesson. You know, you now know 10 Japanese words that are going to be very useful. Well done. We are going to move on to the next hiragana lesson. Before we do, would you like to save your progress so far? Yes, and I think it would be a good point to end it here. So, let's save. And see you next time for the third set of Hiragana characters. Until then, bye bye!